Hi, it's Ed from 360t.io. Today I'll go through two screen replacement methods for your 360 images. Firstly, I'll do it directly within 3D Vista. If you want to skip ahead to see how it's done in Photoshop and a little bit more realistic, then I'll leave the timestamp in the description below and go over to the hotspots. Your first thought might be to add an image, but we actually need to add a video. So all I have here is a 16x9 image with our logo that's saved as a JPEG. Then I changed the file extension to MP4. This is a quirk in 3D Vista that may or may not be fixed by the time you're watching this. Then we just draw the hotspot around the screen and you're done. As you can see it looks good. Fits perspective wise, but it is a little flat and not super natural. So the second method is in Photoshop. So to start this off, you want to select the Perspective Crop tool. You might need to long press on the crop icon to select it. Now we draw around the screen. Press enter. This will crop the image to the actual screen size and also flatten it. This way we have the exact screen size. Now use the marquee tool to ensure it's all selected and just copy the image with command or control C. Then we need to go back to the original image so I'll just use the history tab. So now you'll want to paste back in the image of the actual screen itself and resize it to approximately the right size. Now the important bit that makes this all possible is to convert this layer to a smart object. So we right click, convert to smart object. Once that's done, we can do the final resizing. Press command T and then right click to select distort. Now drag each corner to the screen. So now we've created the actual crop of the screen, made a smart object and put it back. It all seems a bit long winded, but you'll see why. Get as close as you can to the edges. This one's not perfect, but it'll do for the example. Now we can double click on the smart object and you'll see the screen. Just drag whatever graphic you want onto the screen, but make sure it covers the entire image. Then we'll close out of the smart object and press save. Now that we have this as a smart object, we can select any of the blending modes or transparency of the screen itself, which can then show some of the actual reflections from the room. You can go through till you find one you like or just change the transparency. 